Peter Fowler, thanks for joining us today. Uh, looking forward to the week, I'd imagine. Yeah, no, so I am looking forward to it. It's always nice to play in, in Melbourne. Courses are great and uh, hopefully get some good weather. Yes, and of course a different format this week with the guys and girls playing together. Are you looking forward to it? No, it's great. It's great to see some new, new people and watch some of the girls practice and uh, see what they do. And, uh, Interesting to see how we all go. Not nervous at all that somebody might, uh, uh, ladies might sneak one past you. I'm sure. I'm sure some of them definitely will <laughs> shoot lower scores. But anyway, we'll just try and do our best. And how's your game at the moment? Well, it's just early in the season, so I'm just. Uh, I haven't practiced um, really until this week because I've had some injuries. Uh, so hopefully, it's um, it'll all come together. But I've. Done a bit of good practice yesterday and today, so we'll wait and see. Now, a lot of the uh, young, young and up-and-comers up love playing with the likes of yourself and Peter Lonard. Do you follow, obviously, what's going on in, in the younger ranks? Not closely, but uh, every summer we come back and play the tournaments in the Australian Open and Australian Masters, where there's some good young players, and I've got a friend of mine who looks up helps them with the Golf Australia and uh, he keeps me up to date with what's happening but each year you see some fantastic uh, players. Yeah and uh, is there anyone in particular at the moment whose game you really have an interest in and you think will fare really well on 13th Beach this week? Well I think um, you know all the young talent will be keen and I'm sure they've been practicing and and warming up for this week, and um, especially the young Victorians, you know the Todd Sinnets, uh, um, the Ryan uh, Ruffles, guys that I've sort of known over the last couple of years. Ryan, I played with a couple of times the last few years. Todd, I've only just noticed at the Masters and the Australian Open last year, played very well. So guys like this, they hit the ball a long way. They're getting stronger all the time, and. Uh, they're some of the guys that you'll see, uh, you know, over the coming years. Yes, and you're heading out this afternoon to take a look at the course. Have you played here before? I haven't played here before. No, I played nine holes on one course last night, and walked around nine holes. And I walked around nine holes this morning on the beach course, which is a little bit, um, a little bit different. The greens are much smaller, closer to the ocean, so it's a bit windier. But um, and I'll play the back nine on the beach today and. Uh, the turf's really good out there, and that's one thing the golf professionals really really like is the is a good turf with the, and because um, we get rewarded for well struck shots. And uh, speaking of which, what are the key shots do you think that will win the tournament out there on this course? Well, you've got to drive every golf course. You have to drive the ball very well. Uh, the, the younger players obviously drive a lot further than. The, some of us uh, more experienced guys, but uh, definitely be able to control your ball in the wind. And that's, um, you know, when, when you're close to the ocean, the wind's very, much heavier than it is normally. So you've got to strike it well, and hopefully, uh, putting is difficult in the wind as well. So that's another aspect that uh, has to be good. Yeah, and you've had some great success on the European Seniors Tour. And what's 2015 hold for you? Well, for us, it's about getting our bodies in decent shape so we can uh, play hot, play well for the whole season. So that's uh, this time of the year is when I'm doing a lot of training in the gym and trying to get myself conditioned so I can last the season. It's uh, We have a biz busy second half of the year on the seniors tour before the Australian season starts. So hopefully uh, I'm in good shape and, and feel good is, is important for us. So a typical week in the life of Peter Fowler in regard to getting your bodies in shape, what would it uh, include? Well, I'm in the gym, you know, either stretching or weight training or mobility exercises to get my full range of motion, keep the body going. And uh, so that's six days a week. There's always the practice and the development of your game. So keeping all those things in shape. So it's a... It's a full-time process, and uh, we can't just roll out there and play like we uh, like we used to when we were younger. So we've got to prepare very well to keep going. Yeah. Well, all the best for the week, and um, I'm sure it'll be very successful for you. Thanks, Thank you. Peter. Thank you.